Okay guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. In this video, we're going to have a look at a couple of keyboards that I've picked up for use with the A500 Mini and see what they're like. One's a sort of ultra mini keyboard and one's just a kind of a slim, normal keyboard. Let's see how they work. Let's go. Okay guys, the first one we're going to look at is this ultra mini keyboard and it's absolutely tiny. Um, this was one I really quite fancied because it's quite small and compact and has a little mouse function built into it. And also it's wireless, you can actually use a little dongle to connect it and it should work that way. Um, it's from Amazon, both of the keyboards are from Amazon, I'll leave links in the description. So this is the tiny keyboard, it is really small. In the box you get... Um, it's basically just a charge cable. Okay, now this is actually a workable sort of touchpad that you can use for mouse. This is like your mouse buttons, left and right, and up and down arrow keys. This is your space bar, obviously. Um, and it's got, it's even got um, F9, 10, 11 function buttons, which you can use this uh, function key here and select them up here, which is quite handy, because some games you need to use those like, higher end function keys, which is pretty cool. So it's really just got an on-off switch at the side, this is your charge socket, and that's really about it. There's a sort of connection button at the bottom here. So interestingly at the top here, this is where your dongle is kept, it's quite handy and compact. So this is the little dongle that you can use, put it into your A500 Mini, and we'll see how it works. So this one's obviously a little bit more practical, it's a little bit like an Apple sort of keyboard, it's got some soft touch keys. Um, it doesn't have the full function keys on this one right enough, um, which is a bit strange, it only goes up to F10, so I'm not sure if that will cause a problem if you're going to use it, but it's actually pretty nice. If you're going to do some a lot of typing then this would probably be a better option. Um, but I this one is not wireless, this one is really just fully wired USB um, keyboard. Obviously it depends what you're going to be doing with your keyboard. Um, for me I'm probably going to be using the mini one a lot more. And just sort of utilising a few keys, for example, to get past screens, type your name, for example, something like that. So just to give you an idea of the size of this mini one, that's the A500 mini here. That's the keyboard, it's actually even smaller than the A500 mini. And it's connected with the little dongle, I've got my USB stick and the, the joypad. So I've took out the, the normal mouse that came with it, because obviously if I need to use the mouse I can use this touchpad, so there's no need for a USB extender with this one as well. If you've got another keyboard in, and you've got your joypad and your USB stick, you'll probably need to get a USB extender if you're going to actually use the mouse as well. So it's got a little bit of uh, bonuses, this little thing, and it's tiny, and I can really just leave it sitting next to the mini, and leave it plugged in anytime I need to use it. Without further ado, let's maybe get this on and we'll actually test it and see how it actually works in, in practice. Okay guys, we'll just maybe jump on to a game that utilises the keyboard just so we can see it actually working in practice. I've got a good idea what one to actually pick. Okay, this game can actually go in and edit the custom, custom teams. Let's maybe just pick some random team. And um, we'll show how we can actually do this. So if I put down the joypad a second, you can actually use the, the keypad up and down here to sort of go up and down as you can see. Just pressing that and it will go down. You see it's connected, this is completely wireless which is brilliant. Um, and if you want to edit the, the sort of names, you can just click into it and just keep pressing delete to delete some of the names here. And then just type in whatever name you want. And there you go, so you can actually use your keyboard go all the way down to the bottom just to click OK. And that's really it, so that's really handy, very practical, it's tiny. You can just sort of put it out of the way rather than having a big bulky keyboard and another cable in your way. This is completely wireless, which is brilliant. I really would recommend this little one. Certainly recommend, this one is about £23. I found it on Amazon, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but you can feel free just to have your uh, browse uh, at your own leisure um, to find a keyboard to suit yourself. 
You can see this one's just a little bit bigger than the A500 Mini um, and obviously you've got a wired connection instead of the wireless which is a little bit of a pain but it feels nice, It can you can sort of move up and down as I'm doing here um, with the arrows as well press enter to enter the names let's see, just pick one at random um, as you can see I'm just deleting deleting the name, let's type something And that's it, so it works really well as well. This one was only about um, £13. Um, you could probably find one cheaper if you saw shop around. I just picked this one because it was kind of slim and quite small and compact as well. Honestly, I've tried a few other USB keyboards, a, a full size one, and they fit and play just as well. It's really up to you what space you have. So I think I probably prefer the wireless one, just the fact there's less wires about. It's got a sort of mouse function built in, and it probably looks a little bit nicer and it's smaller. You can sort of keep it next to your mini. It's not going to get in the way too much. Um, but yeah, that's it. I think you'll find that most keyboards should actually work. Obviously not all games actually use keyboards, but there's a few here and there, like obviously Sensei and other games that you might need to utilise the keyboard keys, for example, um, and a mixture of that and the mouse. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and we'll catch you again next time. Bye for now. Who is Big Dave? <laughs> I love these custom names. Absolutely brilliant.